today I'm going to be locking the intern in this nearly impossible to escape box. I'm going to be trying a life hack to hopefully help him escape. Do you guys think it'll work? I sure hope it does. Will today's life hack be enough to get him out? Who knows? Let's find out. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is the brand new craft corner. Each one of these squares is the size of the old craft corner. I have six craft corners. Six! I also have an attic. It's kind of messy right now because we shoved a lot of stuff down here up into the attic, so it's just kind of everywhere. Here, let me show you my favorite part of this attic. Here you go. It's a lift into the attic! Unfortunately, it is not an elevator uh, stated by the manufacturer, but I have actually rode on it. Shh, don't tell them. And if I want it to go up, I just hit the switch, and just like that, it's gone. It perfectly blends into my checkered ceiling, and you guys are probably like, hey, what the heck are those things? A boo -bitty -boo. I saw traveling gymnastic rings in the craft corner. And you're gonna wanna run with it. A boo -bitty -boo. And then you go on to the next one. You get really good. You can learn how to do a flip. So yeah, I think we did a pretty good job on this craft corner. Everything's coming together quite nicely, as you can see. So anyway, guys, today we're gonna be trying some life hacks from the YouTube channel, Quantum Tech HD. These guys are a brand new life hack and craft channel, and I guess I've been out of the game for a while because they're getting more views than five minute crafts at this point. Five minute crafts, you better watch out. So today we're gonna be trying genius life hacks that work extremely well. Let's do this. Oh man, I really hate it when I go to grab some zip ties from 3A and they just get everywhere. <laughs> oh man, this could have been avoided the entire time if we did it the right way. You don't want to cut these bad boys from the top, you cut from the side. And now you have one at a time flopping out instead of all of them. Okay guys, so according to this life hack, opening it up with the little zipper guy, bad idea. Don't ever do that ever. Thank you. Now let's do it the correct way. The first thing we're gonna need are some scissors. Now just grab the bag, pull this off to the side, and then you make a little slit, just like that. There we go. That's not coming out at all. And if we need one, we just go a boo boo boo. Okay, I could see how that could be slightly more convenient. But I mean, my solution is just buy the zip ties with the resealable bag. Way better option in my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. Are you tired of super dull knives? They just don't even cut through a tomato, okay? It's just not cutting it, <laughs> get it? So what you can do is use the bottom of a ceramic cup to sharpen your knife. I've actually seen this one around quite a bit. I don't think I've ever actually tried it so I guess today is the day okay guys so the first thing we're gonna need is a knife as you can tell it is very dull it didn't even want to stick into the wood so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves a coffee mug and we're gonna flip this bad boy over and we're just gonna use this edge right here to sharpen the blade we never actually saw how good this cut so we're gonna try that right now Wow, that's actually pretty sharp. It could be slightly sharper though. I feel like I need to mess up this blade first. Maybe if I try cutting down this dead tree, that'll dull it. Take that tree. Oh man. Oh, I could try cutting this rock. Guys, I think I might have taken this a little bit too far. I now have a giant chunk taken out of this blade. But you know what? This is gonna be a great test for our coffee mug. So let's see, will it cut? Oh, that's terrible. Oh boy. That's definitely very dull now. Now we're just gonna take it to our coffee mug and just sharpen this bad boy up. One eternity later. Okay, I did that for a couple minutes. Let's try this bad boy out now, you ready? Oh wow, that actually worked really well. I mean, considering it now has a giant chunk taken out of the blade, I'd say it still cuts pretty well. Let's see if I can fix this bad boy really quick. So for this, I think I'm gonna need something to grind it down a little bit. A boobity boo. A boobity boo. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this thing instead. Oh yes, I have flattened the edge of the blade. I have gotten rid of the nick. And now I have to go and make the sharp bit. So I have to go boop, boop, duh. So now that we fixed the edge on this guy, it's time to sharpen it. Yes. Yes. And there we go, our knife is all fixed up. It's not quite as wide as it was before, but it's way more useful. But let's see how it cuts. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Guys, just a review, we went from this 
to this. Ooh, look how great that turned out. And that's how you fix a knife. You're welcome. The empty barrel of a pen makes the perfect storage for a long applicator of any spray. Really, so we got some WD-40. I always lose a little spray applicator. So you're saying you can just tape the, oh my, how convenient. Oh yes, the first thing we need to do is grab some WD-40. Fun fact guys, we actually alphabetized the entire wall of tools. So if you ever need anything, you just think of what you need and then you look in alphabetical order. Over on the far left, we have our angle grinder. And over to the right, we have our vices. I couldn't think of any tools that started with a Z, you see, so V will have to do, I guess. So if you guys know any tools that start with a Z, please let me know, okay? So anyway, in the W section, we find our WD-40. So now that we have our WD-40, I just see this little straw, and I'm just like, I'm gonna lose this thing. I mean, it's not like there's a place to put it when you're not using it right on the can. How convenient would that be? So we're gonna go ahead and place one on there ourselves. So we get our old marker, and then just take off the end. Let's see if we can get out the ink cartridge. Oh yeah, we definitely don't need that anymore. More of this guy. Just shove that right back on. I think we might have needed that other thing. I messed up, okay? I'm sorry. There we go. Now, will this... Oh, I don't think that's actually going to fit. I mean... Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to make that work. I definitely didn't think this one through. Okay, guys, so I went through all my pens and I couldn't find a single one that would be long enough to hold this. Look at this. Not a single one. Nope, too short. Uh-uh. I don't even know how that would work. You see, guys, I don't think there's any pens on the market that would be long enough to hold this straw. So already, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't actually work. But if you cut it down, oh, our options expand greatly, man. So I guess you have to cut down the straw a little bit. They didn't mention that in the life hack, but, you know, I'm not gonna blame them for that. So we're gonna go with our original pen. Does that work? And there we go. We now have a cap for this. Boom. So now we just take some tape and tape this bad boy on. Right onto the side. Right there. There we go. And now we have a perfect little straw holder. Boom. There we go. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. However, I don't think I'm actually gonna use it because I find it a lot more useful just to store it in the manufactured hole. There we go. Life hack. You can actually hold your straw there. You don't even have to worry about that life hack. I really gotta get another can of WD-40 because that keeps happening. Okay guys, so as you know, Toby is really annoying. And that's exactly why I've decided to send him to Australia. So the first thing we're gonna need is a box. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna need is a Toby. Hi Robin! <gasps> Toby, there you are! <laughs> okay, I got him trapped. I just gotta tape him in. This tape cutter sucks. If only there was an easier way. Oh man, that was a struggle. But he's definitely contained for sure. Toby, how the heck did you get out? Your tape can't hold me that easy, Robbie! Oh my gosh, if only I knew a more efficient way to cut that tape. Okay guys, so here's a fun little life hack to teach you how to cut tape to any length without using scissors. You just get a zip tie, put it through your tape, and cut it off. You got yourself a nice little tape cutter. That cut does not look very clean to me though. So I do have my doubts about this one. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take that off. We don't need that any Get out of here. Don't need that anymore. Then we get our zip tie and just There we go. Oh, gotta give this a little snippy snip. Good, good. Okay, now let's see if this bad boy works. Oh, Toby! Yeah, Robbie? I have another challenge for you. <laughs> you see, I bet you a Christmas $100 that you can't break out of this box once I tape it again. A <gasps> hundred bucks? I can buy so many Mr. Beast chocolate bars with a oh, Toby! Great! Oh, yeah. You're gonna be trapped forever, Toby, with this brand new life hack that I learned. A little cut. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, it's working. But the specs on the tape is awful. <laughs> it actually oh, works! No. You're not gonna get out of this one. <laughs> I'm sending you out of Australia, Toby. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. How to make your own bag handle holder for free. So you just find a box with a handle, you take off the box with the handle, and you just put it through the handles of the bags. And then you got yourself a bag handle handle bag. The bag handle ba handle bag. The bag handle handle bag only by ha bag handle. Uh, bag handle. Since 1938, we handle your bags so you can handle our bag handle. This is why I never went on Shark Tank, okay? Ooh, okay, guys, so we got this box. Thank you so much, Robo Rock, for sponsoring this video. Just kidding! 
I wish. My house would be so much cleaner if they did sponsor this video. But no, we're just actually using this box for this handle right here. So I just gotta figure out how to take it out. Be slightly aggressive with it. Oh, just kidding, it just slides right out. And boom, we have ourselves a perfectly good handle. Put that together like that. So instead of grocery bags, I'm actually gonna try this. Oh, with these sandbags. This is roughly 50 pounds of sandbags. So let's see if these actually hold them all. So we're just gonna go ahead and run this handle through all of them. Boom, we got all of them in our handle. But will it hold them all? Here we go. One, two. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh. I should have been wearing boots. I think it might be because it's just a little bit too heavy for this. Let's try it with three sandbags. I think that 60 pounds was just way over exerting the amount of pressure on this poor little handle. Okay, ready? Time for three. It's working! It's holding three heavy sandbags! Oh, just kidding. It just broke again. Well, guys, for normal grocery use, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this will probably work. But unfortunately, probably not for these heavy sandbags. Okay guys, so here's the ultimate cheap paper towel holder. You get an old hanger, you cut off the bottom, just a little snippy snip, and then you shove your paper towels right in there. And boom, you got a perfect little paper towel holder. Guys, check it out. I installed a sink into the craft corner. It even works. Whoa! But there's one thing wrong with this. I have absolutely no paper towels. Uh, 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 uh. No paper towels. I just completely forget to put them by the sink, you see. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab our hanger and some wire cutters and cut it right in the middle. Boom! Then we just have to insert our paper towel. There we go, this looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hang it right here. Let's see how well it works. Wow! Wow. Well that worked, let's try it again. What? It's holding the paper towels for sure. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. As keys are usually metallic, a big magnet can remove a broken key. Really? I don't believe you. So this guy just broke off his key, and now he's just gonna pull it out with a... <gasps> what? He got it out? How did... Okay, I guess I gotta try this one. Okay, guys, so here's our lock, and here is our key. I'm gonna go ahead and break this off, but first, I'm gonna clear this chest out. <laughs> The camera. You threw clothes all over me. Hey, I have something for you. I know it was your birthday recently. I got you a gift. It's inside this chest. All you gotta do is open it up, climb inside, and your gift is gonna be right there. But before you do that, I actually got you something. Is this my birthday gift? Yeah, this is your birthday gift. You get a light, and uh, here, take this camera as well. I know you've been wanting to be a YouTuber for a long time. It's all yours. Just take it with you inside this chest. That way you can document your experience, okay? This is so cool. Thanks, Robbie. I can't wait to see what else you have for me. Me. No problem, I kinda want that pack when he's done. So I just have to get in here? Yeah, just get in the chest. Thank uh, you, Robbie. No problem, buddy. Uh, I'm just gonna close this up. Perfect! Robbie, there's nothing in here! Don't worry, intern. The fun is yet to come. <laughs> that was loud! It's nothing. Don't mind this at all. Robbie, what are you doing? It's not it's not opening! How the heck do you break this off? Just break it just like that. There we go! We got it properly stuck in. Now we're just gonna grab ourselves a little magnet. Yeah, that one should do. And then, boobity boop. Guys, it doesn't appear to be working. It's not working! <laughs> it's not coming out! Mommy, it's not opening! Well, in turn, it looks like you're stuck in there forever. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Are you enjoying your birthday present, in turn? <laughs> I'm not enjoying it at all. It's not fun. Get me out. <laughs> I'll see you later, in turn. Also, make sure to clean up this mess when you get out. Thank you. Robbie, can you let me out now? Okay, guys, so this is how you make a shoe cleaner. So I guess you cut a board into three pieces and then drill a big freaking hole. What are you gonna use this hole for? What are you drilling into? Where did Drill? Wait, did you drill into the side? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh. Where am I gonna get all those brooms? And then, when you come in from the snow, there you go. Clean boots. Just how I like my boots. Nice and clean, you know? Well, might as well try this one. So it looks like we're gonna be going on a little adventure to find some wood. I'm gonna get on my adventure outfit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
Ooh. Ooh. We're all good to go. Let's do this, guys. take these broom handles off. I think this one just screws like this. There we go. And this one doesn't even have a screw. Fantastic. So now that we have our brooms, uh, we're gonna make our measurements. Unfortunately, I only have two of these guys, so I'm gonna make it just for two. So first off, I'm gonna grab my boot. As you guys can see, my boot is already extremely dirty, probably from all that off-roading on the bikes I just did. So this is the perfect opportunity for this. This looks like about as far as I want it. I'm gonna make a mark right up on it, and then I'm gonna cut the side pieces over here because these are way too long. So I'm guessing I'm gonna want it to go about this far up on my heel. Oop. You know, it's a good enough guess for me. Five inches, exactly, perfect. Funny how things work out like that. I might make it a little bit longer, actually. Just ignore these, and these are okay. Okay, it's time to cut this bad boy. much eyeball that that's so close we're gonna put our pieces just like this and instead of using another piece of wood to kind of hold it in place like this I have these L brackets instead I just have a bunch of these because they were holding up the curtains in my new house and I took them all down let's go ahead and add our brushes okay and it's completed this is kind of scary it looks like a giant mouth <laughs> anyway let's try this bad boy out there we go it seems to be moving around a lot more difficult than I thought. This is so ridiculous. I have to literally stand on it in order to keep it still. And then we got a kick. Oh God, this feels so dangerous. I feel like I might as well have just swept off my shoes at this point. Oh, I can put it sideways and then do that. There we go, we're cleaning off my toes. Well, what do you guys think? This is how it started out and this is how it ended up. Would you guys say that this thing works? I definitely have some mixed reviews on my end, but they did make my boots cleaner, so. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Are you tired of all your glass shattering? Well, what you could do is get a plastic bottle. Just use a plastic bottle. That's all you need. That's the life pack. Just kidding. It goes farther than that, okay? You're gonna get your bottle. You're gonna cut off the top. And then you're gonna use a heat gun and just heat shrink wrap it onto your glass bottle and it's unbreakable. The bottle's never breaking ever again. I really hope this one works because I've broken so many glass cups. <laughs> Okay guys, so before I do this next one, uh, I'm actually gonna go use the restroom really quick. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I made it! Oh, 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 coming. oh my gosh, I gotta hide! Blindfold. 
Uh, this? I don't care. Let's go. Where are you taking? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Robbie, get down. Uh, like this? No! Like this! Oh. Oh. Get in there! Oh. You should be in a box! Get a taste of your own medicine, Robbie! Oh. So, as you say, Robbie. Let's do this! <laughs> Okay guys, I don't know how I'm gonna crash my way out of this one, um, but make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Ugh. Also check out my last video.